In this video from Sharpel, we're going to demonstrate how to adjust the tax system on your XEA 207 or 177 register um, to be add-on. Um, so what I mean by add-on is my till here is currently set to be add-in tax. So if I sell £1.20 um, for a department, that £1.20 includes any tax. So I have £1 of net sales, so that's either my goods or services, and then 20p um, VAT, making the total £1.20. The other common way of using the machine uh, tax system is to set the um, tax to add-on. So I'll set it up, it's really easy to do, and I'll uh, then demonstrate what that means for the till so you can double check before doing it that that's exactly what you want to appear on your receipts. Um, this video isn't how to set up your tax rates, so you, I've done another video showing you how to do that. And then this video doesn't cover assigning those tax rates to the different departments, which you also need to do. This is purely looking at the actual tax system. So it seems quite daunting, but it, it's actually, once you understand the sharp terminology, it's fairly straightforward. So all programming, including the tax programming, is done in the program mode. So you need to go into mode by pressing mode and then choosing line six by either scrolling down um, to six or simply pressing six followed by TLNS. If you've scrolled down, you'll need to press TLNS to go into the program mode to get to this screen. You then want to choose setting by arrowing down and hitting TLNS. And the tax programming is all on line 12. So you can either scroll down to it or simply type in 12 and it jumps straight to the tax screen. So you can see there, we're looking at tax system. If you're looking at tax rates, I've already set up my tax rate to be 20%, um, which at the time of this video was the standard UK VAT rate. And then I've also got a tax two at 5%. What we're looking at in this video is the tax system. So you highlight tax system, TLNS to go into it. The default, certainly in the UK, the default tax system is auto VAT one to four. So that if you unbox the machine from factory default, that is the default VAT setting. Um, it doesn't do anything unless you've set up your tax rates and applied them to your um, departments. And if you have done, then you'll get print out like this, where if you ring an amount of money through a department, that dip amount of money is inclusive of the tax. So to change it to be um, add-on, you hit the subtotal button and then we're looking for auto tax one to four. So that is Sharp's way of saying um, that it is add-on, what I call and what Cassia would call add-on tax. Um, Sharp just called tax and they call the add-in taxes VAT. So you scroll up to auto tax one to four. The reason why it says one to four is because that's the number of tax rates you can have set up on the machine. You press TLNS to select it and then escape cancel, save and press TLNS to save the data. I shouldn't have pressed escape cancel though, I should have pressed um, TLNS because that would automatically saved it, but it's the same result. Then we press escape cancel three times to return to the main total screen. And what should happen now is if we ring a pound through the department um, and cash that sale off, you can see it's already added the tax on. So I sold a pound and the till knows that my pound doesn't include the tax, it adds it on. So again, if I sell £1.20, ring it through department one, it's added 20% onto that and it will do that as long as you ring the amount of money through a department that has the tax rate applied to it. So there are other ways of setting up the tax, so I'll post a separate video showing you how to return back to the normal tax setting and then I'll do another video talking about manual taxes where you can um, you can press the VAT button to add the VAT on on a certain item or if you're a certain type of customer you're selling to. So those videos are probably appearing on screen now so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.